Hello everyone, my name is Lucifer and welcome to Plastic KO Adventures Quest 2. I don't know if there's a first game, but I found this, I play it, uh, it sounded interesting. Uh, it's a fantastic world of mystery and wonder filled with strange creatures and amazing places. Do you want to begin and start an adventure? Oh, it's a text-based thing. I like these text-based, I like these test, text, test, text-based um, adventures. Very cool. Um, yeah, strange creatures and amazing places. Do you want to begin? That was an awkward, <laughs> that was an awkward part then. Ah, oh, I still not train wreck of the start of the video. Ignore this. We're gonna, we're in a different world now. We are... Uh, in a cave. No, there's a cave in front of us. Let's enter the cave. You open up your eyes. There's a cave in front of, of you to enter the cave. The cave splits into three different directions. Which way do you go? Um, I'm going to go left. I usually go right, and right is never a good place to go, so you got to go the other way, which is left. You find yourself walking through a long, dark tunnel. Got to keep walking. Uh, it's really dark in here. You can barely see what's in front of you. Keep walking. You remember that you had a lighter in your pocket, so you light it up. Just at the edge of the light, you notice a you notice a vague figure. Get closer. You see that it's a skeleton. Get spooked. Uh, like this. Get spooked. Ah! After calming yourself down, you approach the skeleton. You 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 notice it's holding a medallion. Grab the medallion. You grab it and keep walking. Really? You gather your strength and approach the skeleton. You notice. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. The atmosphere thickens as you go further. It's becoming harder to breathe. <laughs> breathe harder, walk harder. I'm going to breathe harder. <sighs> the lighter died down. It's so dark you can't see a thing in front of you. Uh, do you wonder who makes the decisions around here? Uh, oh, I see what it's trying to do. Okay. Um, I do. Well, how can you be sure it was you who wanted to go to that, to that cave then? I don't know. Exactly. Oh. As you're walking down the tunnel, you notice a ladder to the side. Keep going straight. Don't trust ladders. Further down, there's a door with a strange symbol engraved on it. Open the door. The door opens to some familiar looking corridor. An eerie hum is emanating from within its walls. But why are you still going? Because I want to. Yeah, because I want. You're not making me do anything. Because I want to. See, if you break it down, everything you do is a direct result of a complex system interacting within your body. I mean, that's the way you can think about literally anything. Uh, if you break it down to its basics, then it doesn't really make sense. Life is a lot more complicated than just that. That's the reason why things are more complicated. It's a lot more... It's not as simple as that, you know? People, aren't, people and stuff in real life aren't as black and white as that. And if you were to make a machine identical to, uh, to those systems, would it suddenly become you? It would not. It depends on the environment, situation it's in, the things that it's experienced. Um, in the end, all humans can be the same thing, but it's what they experience and what they do which differs. So, you know, since everything that your body is made of will act accordingly to the laws of nature in predictable patterns. Well, not always, um, but fair. It's like everything you do is predetermined. And yet there is something inside you that is still you. I'm talking about the soul. If you were to be cut off from all your senses, you'd still feel like there's something in there that, that can experience things. My conscience! My consciousness? I'm going to go with the question mark because, yeah. So where do you think your con consciousness is, is in? Maybe it's not real. Maybe it's my soul or it's in my body. I'm going to go with not real. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe all we are are elect electrical impulses. Sure. <laughs> Even you don't have an answer, C. Even you don't know what you're doing. Ha <laughs> ha. Da da da. Keep walking. At the end of the corridor, you notice a faint light. Go towards the light. As the light grows brighter, you find yourself in some sort of room. In it, there's a computer. Approach the device. Uh, you see the screen is flickering as if it's about to shut down any minute. Free yourself. Um. Oh. That is cool. There's a computer floating in the air. That doesn't seem right. Okay. Oh. And this maze is going to be according to my actions. This is really cool. This is really awesome. So this maze is generated depending on what I did. Oh. Become self. Oh, that was really cool. This is my desktop, by the way. 
Yeah, my desktop does that. I don't know why. I, uh, once I delete the, uh, um, what's it called? The wallpaper, it becomes really weird and I can do this. I don't know why, but yeah, it's my desktop. Um, that was really cool. I like that. The way it changed, that was really awesome. Uh, I only wish that that, um, that the maze was completely generated till the end and you get to experience whatever you experienced. But that was really awesome. Food for thought. Food for thought there. That was really cool. Um, yeah, and it raises a lot of questions about the self. Are you really yourself without your conscience? Uh, what is your conscience? Consciousness. What is a soul? Is it different? You know, all these things come into play. And yeah. In the end, I don't th uh, think we'll ever get an answer, not in our lifetime at least. It'll probably be decades or millennia until we understand, or we, we might never do. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, it's a short video for today. Don't, don't got a lot of time. I got to finish some um, college stuff. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And, you know, um, comment down below if you got any other thoughts about life, consciousness, or anything. Would love to hear it. Would love to discuss that. Um, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you next video. Thank you for being amazing. And yeah, hope you're having a great day. Goodbye.